Okay, so I'm skipping ahead, skipping ahead because remember how I waited so long to get married and have babies? So now I'm just telling my four baby stories in a row because it means so much to me. It's the most, besides my husband, my, my kids are my, my most important people in the whole world. They always say to me, um, I'm your favorite, I'm your favorite. And I say, no, I have five favorites. Anyway, so, so today I'm telling my second born, Hannah Marie Alvarez. And so let me see here. Her birthday is November 30th, 1990. So Lexi was who we used to call Bowie, or well, nobody's allowed to call her, but, uh, her that but us. And she, then when she became a teenager, she called herself Alex, but then she changed it to Lexi. Anyway, uh, she was uh, 19 months when Hannah was born. And so, let me see what happened. Okay, we wanted so badly to have, an, you know, we just love having our babies. In fact, Jose always tells everybody that as soon as one is born, while well, I, as soon as the baby comes out, I say, I want another one, because I love the whole experience and I love every detail of being a mom. But anyway, so, um, okay, so we wanted so badly to have another one. And then we found out that we were pregnant with with Hannah and of course we didn't know it was Hannah and so anyway what happened was though we were in an insurance that kind of did not um, they did a test when I was five months pregnant and they told us that there was something wrong with her uh, the end of the story first, so you're not worried. There's nothing wrong with Hannah. She's brilliant. <laughs> She's perfect in every way. But anyway, um, so when I was, we were so concerned because they told us that she was going to be like the the thing with her, either her head, or I forget what it's called, or her back or something wrong. So we immediately went to do an investigation on her where there, there's a specialized doctor that, and at that time we didn't know she was a her, but there's a specialized doctor who goes, who does, um, spends hours looking at every single little bone, every single everything. And thank God, they told us she was perfect. My goodness, we were so worried. But anyway, um, we would have loved her just as much no matter what, but, what a relief and um and we found out that she was hannah and that she was a girl and so that's when we came up with the name hannah marie we had a, a danish friend and i was trying to say give me some names throw me some names out there and when she said well a common name over in um in denmark is hannah marie and so when i heard that i just knew it was that's her. So, let me think. Okay, so she's, oh my goodness, I just remembered something. I had, towards the end of my pregnancy, I had a cough. I had a terrible, terrible cough. And every single time I coughed, I had not done my Kegel exercises. If you don't know what they are, they are to strengthen down there so that this doesn't happen. But every single time I coughed, I wet myself and I would cough like every other minute. And so, so the thing is, is that we went out, I was so big because with every baby, I got fatter and fatter and fatter. I was so big. And so we went to the drugstore and we bought me back in those, <laughs> we bought me some diapers. And the only ones, the only ones that they had for my size, they weren't the pull-up or anything that you had to, Jose had to help me. He had to put them on me and then tape them. So the first time we did it, afterwards we ended up going to the grocery store. And as I was walking, I went, shoo, 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 shoo. And Jose said, forget it, wet your pants, you're not wearing any diapers anymore. 
<laughs> and so that was the end of that. So I ended up having tons and I think I got Kotex or something. I forget, but anyway. Anyway, that was that part. So then my mom came to stay with us. She wasn't able to for Lexi because my sister was having her baby and my sister lived uh, just a, a half an hour from my mom in Oregon. So my she was there. She thought, you know, my sister was having her baby. It turned out one, six days after I had mine. So um, that was my first baby. So anyway, um, now this second one, my mom was able to come. And um, so she really it was wonderful she took care of me and stuff but i was so i wanted that baby to come so badly every day we were thinking it's gonna come it's gonna come it's gonna come nothing but finally jose was at work by this time he didn't work the graveyard he worked uh like a an evening shift he was at work he used to work for telemundo network if anybody knows that a lot of my hispanic friends know that anyway and um and then all of a sudden, because now I knew what labor felt like. It feels like a pressure, right? The beginning of labor. So <clears throat> now I knew. And so when during dinner time, all of a sudden, the first signs. And the thing is, the first signs of labor, there's no real pain, at least for me. There's just the pressure. And it would bring me so much joy. And I would just be filled with laughter and everything, just so happy. My baby's coming, right? So <clears throat> we call up um, Jose and he just leaves work and comes home right away. And my mom, of course, it wasn't time to go yet. And we were sitting there watching a movie and eating sorbet, <laughs> sorbet ice cream or whatever. Uh, I wasn't supposed to probably, but oh well. And, um, and anyway, and we were, I was just so happy. Jose was just a nervous wreck and he was calling the doctor and he was looking at the time and, and he would use to, he used to um, time out the seconds that until the, you know, see how long the labor was and everything. And, and he thought I was mocking him because, because I was so filled with joy and I was so happy. And so he started to get angry at me <laughs> because he thought that, that I was mocking him, but I wasn't anyway. Anyway, so we get there to the hospital, finally, and the thing is, is that I had a Nazi nurse. She, she ended up being very nice, very wonderful. She was probably a wonderful person, but she would not let me have any medication. She just said, okay, go walking. And it was, by this time it was painful. And Jose would walk me through the, through the hallways. And oh my goodness, I was in so much pain and everything. Well, anybody who's had a baby, they know. But anyway, so then finally, finally, I say, come on, you know, you've got to give me pain medication. And I had determined no more Demerol. I wanted an epidural. And finally, she got permission from the doctor. And guess what? It was too late. It was too late. And my goodness, it was so much torture. So I had to go through a natural childbirth, which I'm not one of those earth people who who like to do all the things natural i like my medication <laughs> and and i had to go through it all natural and my goodness my body was so upset that my body literally oh when hannah was born she was blue at first she had a cord wrapped around her neck but thank god thank god oh i forgot to tell something about lexi sarah would used to tease lexi that she had um biggie breath we call poop biggies that she had biggie breath because she was born with poop in her mouth <laughs> uh, that was the other story that i forgot but anyway hannah had, had a cord around her neck and she was she was blue which was scary but they immediately got her fine she was fine but it was scary but <clears throat> my body could not take the natural childbirth and they took i wasn't allowed to be around anybody for a long time because they took me to this recovery room because and put tons of blankets on me because i was literally in shock just you know shaking and all that kind of stuff i i guess i know what shock feels like but 
Oh, and, and then, but before that happened, when they were wheeling her away, or taking her in to, to do all the tests and stuff, I was so not caring about who saw me at all in my in all my glory that they passed me by the window and I sat up to look at my baby in the window and I think my whole butt was exposed <laughs> to anybody that walked by but who cares I just had a precious baby so oh and then then what happened was in the middle of the night oh they asked me they said have you gone to the bathroom and i said no so without me realizing what i had just told them they gave me i guess something to make me go and in the middle of the night when they brought my darling in to, for me to nurse i sat up to nurse her and all of a sudden i did all this diarrhea in my bed but but anyway, and so they had to come in and hold her and uh, clean me off. And I had to go and take a shower, all that stuff. But that's part of the joy of, of motherhood. <laughs> anyway, so my precious angel, and now I had two. And it was wonderful. So that's all for now.